This is Duke University. We sweat basically to uh, keep our bodies cool enough to handle the increase in work. Your body loses a lot of heat when you exercise. It's not a really efficient engine, so you lose about 20 or 25 percent of the energy you're generating through heat, so your body has to find a way to get the heat off of you, and the easiest way for it to do that is to produce some sweat so that when the wind hits your body, you cool down. It's really important to constantly hydrate because you're, again, losing all that wat water through sweat, um, and to try to keep as cool as you can with what you're wearing. So it's okay to do things outside, but you wouldn't want to start the hottest day in June doing the longest outside workout or lawn mowing or whatever that is. You want to let your body kind of acclimate. And most of us have probably noticed that, that at the beginning of the summer you just feel like you're totally wiped out, but by the end of the summer you've got a little more ability to handle that. The really important things are staying hydrated, minimizing your exercise in the heat of the day to the beginning of the day or the end of the day. The heat of the day is generally between about noon um, and they used to say two, but in this climate we're talking about noon to five or six. Clothing now is uh, much smarter than it used to be, so clothes that wick the sweat away from your body will really help you as opposed to cottons and heavier fabrics which keep the um, water against your body. Um, but the main thing is just to be really smart about the time that you do it and the temperature. Um, so you might have to head inside in the summer to do a lot of your exercise. The real key is that is you just want to minimize your time in the deadest, hottest part of the day. Produced by the Office of Communication Services, online at hr.duke.edu.